bottom of my bare hand so I could keep this guy for myself. <laughs> Up, we have the Wilderness Protection Patch. To earn it, we're gonna hike up the Friendship Trail and pick up all the icky, sticky litter we find. <gasps> we you get, get to, to pick, pick up, up trash. trash. Mmm, spicy Italian. <laughs> all right, rubbish wranglers. Let's see how we did. <gasps> That's trash, tastic, Lana. <laughs> now, how about your sister? I don't think you got this one, honey. Don't worry, you'll get the next patch. Ooh, how about this cake? Nah. Ooh, how about this one? Nah. Ooh, ew, this one, this one. Nah, nah. Okay. Do you have a sink and some dirt? Are you with the health department? Nope. Then follow me. We'll take it from here. <laughs> Speechless, huh? Well, I think that means we've found our cake. <laughs> what do you have for toppings? Any worms or bugs we could sample? Uh, I'm sure we could find something in the pantry. Oh, those are just some exploding candles. Wait, be careful with those! <laughs> in her natural habitat. Oh, hi, Lacey. I didn't know you had a dog. <sighs> Victoire isn't just a dog. She's a purebred Maltese from a long line of champions. Aw, nice to meet you, Vicky. Hey, Charles, come say hi! <laughs> Victoire, stay away from that classless mutt! Hey, don't talk about my Charles like that. I was talking about you. But your dog's no prize either. <gasps> Funny how pets resemble their owners, no? You don't know what you're talking about. Charles is a great dog. No, the best dog. Care to prove it? The Royal Woods Dog Show is next weekend, and the champion gets a fabulous gold trophy. I know, because there are three in Victoire's doghouse right now. Well, don't count on a fourth, because this year that trophy's going to Charles. <laughs> <laughs> well, best of luck, I guess. Come on, Victoire. We're late for your eyelash curling appointment. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll show that snob and her little dog, too. We are gathered here to mourn the untimely passing of Frank the Tarantula, a pet beloved by all. Except Lenny. The murderer. Well, yeah, yeah, this is all oh, Lenny's yeah. fault. Guys, this isn't Lenny's fault. It's mine. Ew, ew, ew. I knew Lenny was afraid of spiders, but I brought Frank home anyway. It was a bad idea. <sighs> I guess I deserve to have my whole class hate me. Ew, gross, Cliff. Show some respect. Whoa, weird. This hairball looks like Frank. Ew, gross, Lana. Show some respect. Because this isn't Frank. It's a hairball, too. Which means Frank could still be alive. <laughs> Spider! And it sounds like Lenny just found him. Uh, that wasn't Lenny. I know that scream. <coughs> oh, hi, Mr. Lau. Trick or treat! Ah! Spider! Lana! Wait, it's her after school snack time. Lana! Hey, Lincoln. Come. Ugh. Come on, we gotta get home and hide those frogs, stat. Open up, Dombrowski. Frog inspection. We'll just hide the frogs in the garage. Easy peasy. Not so easy peasy. Aw, oh, 
Oops! How'd the frogs get out? Ten down, forty to go. Open up loud. Frog inspection. Good afternoon, children. Well, I don't see any frogs here. I guess I'll just be on my way. Not! Let me take your coat. There. Yes, just put that down anywhere, why don't you? It's chore day at the Loud House, and taking out the trash is my job. And in a family as big as mine, chores can be pretty intense. But we get through them, because we all do our fair share. Chores all done. Well, except maybe for Lenny. Wait, two of you do one chore? Three of us. Ah! seem very fair. Open sesame, bro. Little present from Charles. Special delivery from Cliff. And air mail from Walt. What about Geo? Oh, I taught him to use the toilet. This isn't a chore for you, it's a hobby. Uh-oh, Geo fell in again. Hang on, baby! Mama's coming! Here we are! Hazel Tucky's finest party supply store. Wait here, I'll make sure they're open. Uh, I see customers inside. <gasps> Those could be thieves! Stay here where it's safe. Midge! Lola, how did the Parisian table runners go over at your tea party? Midge, I don't have time to talk about that. Okay, they look fabulous. But listen, I have a party crisis on my hands. I need you to hide everything poop colored now! No peeking yet! <gasps> okay. Ta-da! Look, Lana! So many things that are just perfect for our party, huh? Ooh, how about this? Tropical fun, flirty. Mm. Nah, those don't really scream Lana to me. Hmm. Do you have a dumpster? Oh, Midge, how much for the half-eaten cheese? It'd make a great centerpiece. Oh, uh, gosh, well, I don't know. Uh, can I get a price check on the uh, dumpster cheese? Uh, free? Cool! Yes! <laughs> wow! Oh, batteries, rotting fish heads! These would make perfect party favors! You know, Hops, maybe there's an easier way to save the fishmans. <laughs> You're right, we should still pee anyway. today. <laughs> Don't forget to stay hydrated. <laughs> it's onion-infused water for better bladder function. Ugh, well, it tastes like B.O. I'll say. <laughs> you kids must be famished. It's grub time. Pizza and fries! Burgers! Blood oranges. No, I mean actual grubs. 
They're rich in protein and low in carbohydrates. So eat up. You'll need your energy for tomorrow. That's right. We've got a 6 a.m. lake swim, followed by hot yoga, followed by 200 squat thrusts. Hey, these are great with a little of this B.O. water. No one's home, especially if you're Lola. Lana, open up. I know this is your sad can. Go away. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I should have let you have your party. It was your chance to shine. You really did me dirty, Lulz. I know, but I have a big surprise that might make up for all the terrible things I did. We're listening. Whoa! Wow! You did all this? <laughs> I'm gonna smell like a farm animal for a week. But some things are worth it. Thank you, Lola, for the best, trashiest party ever. You're welcome. Now let's blow out our candles. Happy birthday, Lons. Happy birthday, Lols. <gasps> Got it! Wait, wait, wait! One more for safety. I can't believe you managed to get the exploding candles, too. Wait, what? 